Welcome to the Philippine Boro Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Butch Gamboa. With this episode, we start our traditional series of year-end specials. We shall look back at the different significant events that happened in the country's automobile industry. The year 2017 continued to be a good year for the automobile sector, as car companies have enjoyed unprecedented sales growth performance quarter after quarter. This week, we will first put on the spotlight car launches from different automobile manufacturers, distributors, and importers that truly thrilled the Philippine market. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show as we bring you the Autofocus year-end special, spotlighting car launches of 2017. As a coach, you don't define yourself in terms of championships you've won. What happens beyond the trophies? You have to move forward, grow, and get better. Life is all about taking shots, and I want these kids to at least have the courage to take that shot so they can grow, learn, be compassionate, and have the heart of a champion. Think you're tough? Do you dare to go off-road? Or off-key? Do you use your great power with great control? With the new Isuzu D-Max, you're tough enough to be unstoppable. And you're tough enough to be right back. Isuzu D-Max, tough enough for anything. Welcome back to the country's premier electronic magazine, centering on the automobile and its industry. This is Autofocus. We are now ready with our year-end special, spotlighting the automobiles launched in the country in 2017. Let's start with automobile companies, which at the start of the year surprised the market with their latest offerings to the public. To start the new year, Hyundai Asia Resources Incorporated launched their new 15-seater Hyundai Grand Star X Super Express. The model has a 15-seating capacity that the customers can simply fold the bench type rear seats. It is powered by a 2.5-liter TCI diesel front engine that isolates the engine noise and prevents rising temperature under the seats. PJ Cars Incorporated, the exclusive distributors and importers of Porsche vehicles in the country, showcased for the first time the all new 2017 Porsche Panamera in the Philippines. Aside from the brand's signature sleek upgraded design, this face lifted variant of the Panamera has a 4.0 liter bi turbo V8 engine with an output of 550 HP and maximum torque of 770 Nm. Isuzu Philippines Corporation welcomed the 2017 by unveiling the new 2017 Isuzu D-MAX X series, which is the latest in the D-MAX X series line. As it is designed for the younger market, the 2017 series supports a sportier getup and is available in three colors, Splash White, Venetian Red, and Cosmic Black. Isuzu also collaborated with Under Armour to create special X-Series collection sports apparel and items, such as a collection of sports apparel that will be given with every purchase of the D-MAX X-Series. Tonight, we officially unveil the 2017 Isuzu D-MAX X-Series, coming from the award-winning D-MAX model lineup. This new variant is as reliable and tough. But what makes it stand out from the rest is its sporty high-class exterior that will surely get you excited. Given the X3's characteristic, this variant perfect as a leisure vehicle, ideal for those with an active lifestyle like the young professionals and adventure enthusiasts 
and sports profession. May we invite you to uh, come and visit our uh, dealers around the Philippines. We now have this uh, new X series on display. It's available in three colors: uh, the Venetian red, splash white, and cosmic black. Uh, choose your color, and uh, whatever color you choose, you are getting the best pickup in the market. Thank you very much. Top executives of Isuzu Philippines Corporation went to Cebu City to unveil an upgraded variant of the Isuzu MUX 3.0 LS A 4x2 AT, which is equipped with additional styling and functional features dubbed as the Isuzu MUX Black Series. Another highlight of the event was the recognition given to the first four owners of the Isuzu MUX Black Series. Today, we are officially launching the Isuzu MUX Black Series here in Cebu City. This new limited edition variant is more sophisticated yet sporty at the same time. As identified by its name, it comes equipped with black radiator grille and the food garnish, as well as a two-tone front bumper, where the top portion matches the vehicle's body's color, while the lower part is finished in cosmic black. As Isuzu Philippines' best-selling and flagship model, the Isuzu MUX Black Series deserved to have the best features that address the expectations of even more discerning customers. That is why we strive to continually introduce upgrades to the premium and highly capable SUV. The Isuzu MUX Black Series is the latest product of such efforts. And we are confident that the model will appeal to a more sophisticated market of SUV. Part of the Suzuki Philippines Incorporated preparation for the 100th anniversary was the launch of the newest motorcycles, the SVA 650A and the GSXR 1000R during the 11th Inside Racing Bike Fest, held at the World Trade Center. The SV650A comes with a weight of 195 kilograms and is more responsive in terms of acceleration, and it can be easily maneuvered. Meanwhile, the new GSXR 1000R has an all-new chassis with a lighter frame. Dubbed by Suzuki as the king of sports bikes, the GSX-R 1000R is a physical embodiment of the GSX-R performance, innovation, and domination through the years. Uh, we have just launched a GSX-R uh, 1000. This is the uh, king of sport bikes. Yeah, and aside from that, we have just launched the uh, SB650A, no? which is a street bike of Suzuki. Plus the fashion colors of our address models, uh, and aside from that, the matte black uh, color of our smash. Uh, we will be celebrating our uh, 100 years in year 2020, and we have already started preparing for the next 100 years, and we have built actually the uh, future mobility for all for the next 100 years. Nissan Philippines Incorporated closed off the successful past fiscal year and welcomed the new year with the launch of the new Nissan Urban Premium. According to Nissan, the new model ensures premium comfort for the passengers with its wider and higher body and a new seating configuration. Powering the vehicle is a high-torque 2.5-liter turbo diesel engine. Obviously, uh, you know, uh, support uh, extended to us by our customers, innovative products and services that we have, uh, refreshed product sets that we have brought into Philippines from the Nissan Global World. I think each one of those have played a significant part and our relentless focus on customer experience. So we very much believe that purchasing a vehicle is only one part of the entire customer experience that they're going to have with Nissan. So we have focused quite a bit on that and I think that's helping us as well. The new Ur van is, uh, is a brand new segment that we are entering, which is the van premium segment within the van or the luxury segment within the van. We see this as a, a significant segment that can offer us uh, growth and also, uh, more importantly, offer wider choice to our customers here in the Philippines. Honda Cars Philippines Incorporated jump-started the new year by introducing new upgrades for the 2017 all-new Civic RS Turbo. 
For the exterior, the all-new Civic RS Turbo boasts an aggressive style with its low and wide stance, sleek and swept-back body lines, and sharply defined character lines. This unique sportiness is further reinforced by the all-new Civic RS Turbo's DOHC VTEC turbo engine that produces 173 PS at 5,500 RPM. Indeed, those automobile companies started the year of 2017 with amazing surprises to their loyal customers. Mostly, they launched big vehicles, just perfect for the modern Filipino family. We continue to look back to the important car launches that happened in the Philippine automobile industry in 2017 after this break. Stay tuned. Happiness. Happiness times seven. The all-new Honda Mobilio. Ease of use. Flexible interior for your various needs. Convenient features. Advanced technology. Powerful engine. Fuel efficient for a smooth journey. And sleek design for you. The all-new Honda Mobilio. Think you're tough? Do you dare to go off-road? Or off-key? Do you use your great power with great control? With a new Isuzu D-Max, you're tough enough to be unstoppable. And you're tough enough to be right back. Isuzu D-Max, tough enough for anything. Welcome back, and this is the Autofocus Year-End Special. A while back, we've seen some vehicles introduced during the first and second quarters of this year, and they continue to excite the loyal customers with more car launches. And we have a lot more for you on this special episode. Aston Martin unveiled the new Vanquish S in Manila for the first time. During the launch, Aston Martin's new flagship Super GT Vanquish S was presented as a vehicle that is designed to deliver more intense thrills and performance with significant enhancements to the engine, chassis, and aerodynamics. We're here today to launch our all-new Super GT flagship model, which is the Vanquish S. It will be replacing the Vanquish. This is an upgraded model that has a higher rated horsepower. It has 600 horsepower, 0 to 100 in 3.5 seconds, top speed of 323 kilometers an hour. We're really very excited about the consensory plan of Aston Martin. It's called 777. Seven models in seven years and 700 million pounds in funding. And that's gonna fund all projects in the future. Uh, in fact, I'm sure on social media, you've already seen that we've invested in a new facility in London, which will be producing our up and coming SUV. Uh, obviously, Aston Martin has uh, been around for, for quite a long time now. And obviously we have deep connections with people, especially in the Philippines, because of James Bond, right? We are a movie-watching nation. And that alone makes it easier for us to sell the cars. Aside from, of course, Aston Martin as a brand being cool and sleek and not over the top, I think our customers want understated, refined, but yet luxurious, powerful, and beautiful. Mini Philippines, together with Mini Asia, launched the new Mini Country Man, the biggest and most versatile model in the brand's 58 history, according to the company. For the exterior, the new Mini Country Man is 20 centimeters longer than its predecessor model. Colombian Autocar Corporation, the exclusive distributor of Kia vehicles in the Philippines, launched the all-new fourth-generation Kia Rio. During the launch, the all-new Kia Rio was unveiled with all of Kia's latest technology and design innovations. 
outside of the tiger nose grill that is formed by sportier headlights is emphasized. Meanwhile, the cabin inside was presented to be uncluttered, with a driver-oriented dashboard with key features that ensures passenger comfort like the ample head and legroom at the back and full automatic climate control. The all-new Kia Rio isn't, as, as uh, we call it now, all-new, right? So it still carries the Tiger Nose Grill, the signature design of our chief designer, Mr. Peter Schreier. But right now, the Rio, we are introducing it as a hatchback, five-door subcompact sedan. We have three models. We have the 1.4-liter SL manual transmission priced at 735000 then we have the mid trim, which is the 1.4 liter automatic DX, priced at um, 845,000. And the top of the line, Rio, what we call now GL model, priced at 955,000. What makes it different now is what we are introducing to the market is the hatchback design, but it's now competing at the price levels of the four door sedans. So making the model a lot more competitive. We still have three trim levels, but now we call it SL, DX, and GL. It still carries the features and the design leadership by Mr. Peter Schreier. Has a 1.4 liter engine. We do not have a 1.2 liter engine anymore, but all of the models, even the manual transmission, has a 1.4 liter engine. So it has a little more power now, a little more spunk under the hood. I welcome everybody and I'm inviting everybody to please go to the New York Kia dealership near your area. Please come visit and check it out for yourself. Honda Cars Philippines Incorporated launched the new city. With the concept Advanced Energetic Smart Star, Honda unveiled the refreshed look of the new city with a high-tech and sporty design, fuel-efficient and with safety features that provide customers with the smartest ownership experience. As you know, city is well uh, accepted from the customers in Philippines because of the good styling and good features. And this model change, we enhanced such a good styling more and more. Actually, as you can see, for example, front grille, it's much more stylish, smarter. So then we are very confident that our customers love this new car also. We are very keen to introduce good models, very good features, and a very good price to this market. Thank you very much for your support again. Thank you. Volvo Philippines unveiled the V90 Cross Country. During the launching, Volvo Philippines presented the V90 Cross Country with its advanced features such as Power Pulse, which works by drawing air from the air filter via a compressor to a pressurized 2-liter air tank. According to the company, Volvo Cars is the only car maker currently using such technology in production cars. We have a very special event today for Volvo. We are launching a very important product for us. Volvo has always been known for their estate models and again, we are offering the very new V90. This is the top of the line uh, cross country that we have for Volvo and it completes the 90 line that we've been offering in the Philippines which started with the S90 and now we have the V90 uh, estate cross country. And it's a very exciting event for all of us at Volvo. Anyone who'd like to take a look at the V90 and the S90 uh, they're more than welcome to visit our showrooms at Makati, Alabang, and North Edsa. Toyota Motor Philippines updated the Toyota Wego, dubbed as the brand's mini hatchback, which was first launched in 2014 and have sold a large number of units since it's introduced in the country. The released specs of the new Wego included a VVTi engine, its design now parades a sporty look, with an updated version of its front bumper, grille, and alloy wheels. SMC Asia Car Distributors Incorporated, the official importer and distributor of the BMW in the Philippines, unveiled the all-new BMW 5 Series. 
during the launch of the company showcase of this sporty, elegant, and stylish figure of the seventh generation of the BMW 5 Series as well as the new features. The 5 Series uh, that we are introducing today is already the 7th generation of this progressive business sedan. It has been one of our strongest products in our portfolio in the Philippines. It contributes to about 20% of our total volume annually. And uh, we're very excited that we finally have it in our shores and the discerning Filipino drivers will now get a chance to drive home a BMW 5 Series. The all-new BMW 5 Series is now available in the Philippine market. Please visit and test drive and see for yourself why the 5 Series has been touted as the uh, ultimate business driving athlete. Thank you. The new BMW 5 Series is actually positioned as the business athlete. It's just as good to ride it as it is to, of course, drive it. You know, it's about the customer who knows how to work hard but also knows how to play hard. So it's very dynamic, very BMW, but at the same time, it's also very comfortable. The all-new 5 Series, we have three variants available here in the Philippines. So we will have uh, two 520D variants. One is in luxury trim and the other in M Sport trim. So they are powered by a 2-liter BMW twin-powered turbo diesel engine, producing 190 horsepower and 400 newton meter of torque. The difference lies between the exterior and interior trims of the two variants. The luxury trim, of course, will get the elegant chrome trimmings, 18-inch alloy wheels, and also a rear sun blind for the rear passenger. Now, the M Sport is equipped with a sportier body kit, 19-inch alloy wheels, a BMW heads-up display that projects uh, driver information on the windshield, and, of course, uh, a gear shift paddle for the steering wheel. Now, the third variant, which is a top-of-the-line variant, is the 530D Luxury. Now, it's powered by a 3-liter BMW twin-power turbo diesel engine, producing 265 horsepower and uh, 620 newton meter of torque. So, it's a very powerful car. And it's equipped with leather Napa upholstery, soft-closed door uh, function, and it has the BMW remote control parking feature, where you can park the car using the display key remotely so that you can uh, park the car even in tight parking spaces. From May to July, we saw that car launches are combinations of diesel to premium vehicles, which only show that automobile companies have something to offer to all types of market. And there are more new vehicles to show you when we come back with this year-end special presentation of Autofocus featuring the exciting cars launched in 2017 after this short break. I shall be right back. You are back with us here on your weekly electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. This is Autofocus. You are still with our year-end special highlighting the 2017 car launches, and we continue with the introduction of the Honda Civic Type R. 2017 marks the 25th year since the introduction of the very first Honda Type R vehicle globally. 
The same year, Honda Cars Philippines Incorporated officially announced the availability of all new Civic Type R, which is the first ever Civic Type R model to be sold locally. According to Honda, the fifth generation Civic Type R represents the first truly global Type R as it is newly engineered from the ground up to deliver the most rewarding driving experience in its segment. Honda Cars Philippines Incorporated introduced the anticipated redesigned new Mobilio. Honda presented the seven-seater multi-purpose utility vehicle with a bolder and sportier exterior, enhanced interior, and advanced and functional upgrades. According to Honda, the new Mobilio retains a spacious cabin designed to comfortably accommodate a family of seven. With these upgrades, the new Mobilio is equipped with new safety features to ensure utmost safety of the passengers. Audi Philippines unveiled the new Q2 in an event held at Audi's showroom. During the launch, Audi stated that they are venturing into a new market segment with a new Audi Q2 by bringing advanced technology into the smallest member of its Q family. Although the Q2 is the youngest model in the Audi range, the vehicle already boasted a number of awards. The Audi Q2 is Audi's latest crossover vehicle. It's a compact SUV or crossover of what we call it as in the country. It's a vehicle that's perfect for city driving or even urban use. First of all, um, it comes with a 1 liter TFSI engine. It's the first time we're launching it in the Philippines. It's a three-cylinder engine paired with our seven-speed dual-clutch transmission. It's one of our most fuel-economical vehicle in the lineup. It can match our TDI models with regards to fuel efficiency. One thing very unique with the Audi Q2 that none of the models that we sell has, it has the Audi 3D ambient lighting system. If you see it, it's very unique, it gives a very distinct interior feel and aura when you sit down inside the vehicle. Safety features are standard for basically even our smallest Q2 vehicle. It comes with eight airbags, ABS, EBD, of course it's also a Eurostar NCAP 5 rating. Tata Motors introduced its newest commercial vehicle lineup in the Philippines. The new lineup included the Tata Prima range and tractor trailers and trippers. The LPD range of light, medium, and heavy trucks SFC 407 and the mini trucks range of Ace and Super Ace. With this launch, uh, we don't only launch the, the models, we wanted to launch the brand. Tata has been known in the Philippines yet, and this is the opportunity for us to showcase what the Tata brand is. So Tata brand can make the smart truck, the world's smart truck, so and all the lineup of the trucks. We started with the passenger cars and the commercial vehicles in 2014, but we only had two models of the small trucks at that time, which is the Ace and the Super Ace. And now uh, we're introducing the new 11 models that will be launched today. And we've been uh, aggressive in our, our marketing activities and promote the brand in the Philippines. But now we've started to do more uh, launches, probably in Luzon and Visayas and in Mindanao, because we have dealers in, in the Visayas and the Mindanao all area also. And then we have more inclined to participate in the truck shows. Uh, we are actually introducing one of the newest model of uh, Tata, which is the Prima. So there are two types of Prima vehicles, the tippers or the dump body, the dump trucks, and the truck tractor heads or the primer. So uh, these two models right now are Euro 3 compliant, but the newest one will be introduced next year, which are the Euro 5 models. So both the Primas are the latest model that uh, we are introducing in the Philippines. Honda Cars Philippines Incorporated unveiled its first seven-seater diesel SUV, the all-new CRV. According to Honda, to serve and function as an all-around comfortable SUV, the seven-seater variants of the all-new CRV are powered by a fuel-efficient 1.6-liter DOHCI DTEC diesel turbo engine developed under Earth Dreams technology that produces a maximum power of 120 PS at 300 nm of torque. 
Additionally, Honda said that the exterior design of the all-new CRV revolves around its concept of modern functional dynamic. We launched the fifth generation CRV. As you know, CRV is a very popular SUV also in Philippines. But today, we launched very specific features for new CLV. There are three points. First one, finally, we have diesel engine for CLV. And also, this CLV has seven-seater. As such, this is very, very good for Philippine families. And also, this is very comfortable and convenient cars. As such, we are very confident that we can satisfy Philippine customers. We are very, very confident about new models, so please come and see our new CRV in our dealership. Thank you very much. Kia Motors Philippines launched the third generation Picanto. During the launching, the all new Picanto showcased its new exterior design and more modern touches. According to Kia, the new model is seen to bring a dynamic character to the subcompact market. Aside from this launching event, the same GT line was launched simultaneously in five select dealerships across the country. We are now here in the latest edition of uh, Kia Showrooms no, in the network. We're in Mega Mall. This event not just formally inaugurates the new Kia Showroom here in SM Mega Mall, but more importantly, it launches the all new Kia Picanto to the market. So please come, test drive the vehicle, and try out a new Kia. Thank you. Honda is one automobile company who has been busy coming out with their latest vehicle models. Then, Audi Philippines launched the smallest member of their Q family, the Q2. New automobile brand Tata Motors unveiled to the Philippines their whole commercial vehicle lineup, and Kia finally came back with their all-new Picanto. Obviously, there are many options that a local motor enthusiast can choose from. We continue our year-end special presentation of Autofocus when we come back after this short break. Happiness. Happiness times seven. The all-new Honda Mobilio. Ease of use, flexible interior for your various needs, convenient features, advanced technology, powerful engine, fuel efficient for a smooth journey, and sleek design for you. The all-new Honda Mobilia. Ordering today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just the click away. Welcome back to this week's edition of Autofocus with our year-end special presentation. As we continue, this time around, a premium car brand unveiled its all-new luxurious sports car and more premium models were introduced. Lexus Manila unveiled the all-new Lexus LC500 in a launching ceremony held at their showroom. 
According to Lexus, this new vehicle is able to maintain many of the key design elements, proportions, and visual dynamism of LFLC, which received high acclaim during its debut. Additionally, Lexus said that the launching of the LC500 is in line with the brand's reinvented tagline to one that is more in tune with its vision. That is how we have come up with what is our most meaningful tagline yet. Experience amazing! This one, the category of this falls under to be a luxurious, luxurious coupe uh, model. And as we mentioned, it's the latest offering from Lexus. And as you can see, it's quite aggressive no? in terms of design and even the technology. And earlier, we presented this uh, to our media friends and our customers. It carries a 5-liter V8 engine. And this can generate as much as 477 horsepower. It's a quite a strong car. The LC500 is uh, a very uniquely designed uh, platform of the, the latest model Flexus. If you will see the design, it's really futuristic. It's uh, so up and so well contoured. Now, the purpose of this model being introduced in the Philippines is not actually about volume, but to actually lift the image of the Lexus brand further. It's a halo model. It's an image model. It's a shift no, to what we are, uh, like our motto now is experience amazing. No? It's more of the experience of a customer or the owner. No? It's no more the traditional luxury items like expensive bags, expensive materials, but it's more on time and more on emotions. No? So that is for us what the new luxury definition is. No? It's more of the experience. It's like you go traveling, you never forget memory. So this car is something like that, that it can deliver. I would like to invite the motoring public, the guest of uh, STV Motoring Today and Autofocus, to please visit Lexus Manila and see for yourself how beautiful our new product offering is, the LC500. Mercedes-Benz officially unveiled the all-new GLA. As the first compact SUV for Mercedes-Benz, the GLA has brought a breath of fresh air to its market segment and established itself as a major player. Mercedes-Benz presented the all-new GLA with a progressive design, serene day-to-day -day motoring, and a good off-road capability. According to Mercedes-Benz, the GLA has been reinterpreting the compact SUV segment since its debut in 2013. What we have here right now on my background is the new uh, GLA 200 AMG line. So this is one part of uh, what we are uh, introducing right now in the market. The GLA is part of what we call the uh, NGCC family of Mercedes-Benz. NGCC means uh, new generation compact cars. And this was the last one that was introduced in the market way back. Right now we are in the mid-cycle enhancement. We have major changes on the vehicle, exactly on the uh, headlights. Right now it comes with the LED. Before it was bi-xenon headlights. And you will see it's a different design already on the front grille, which comes with the perforated two louvers, which make it more SUV looking at the same time, more striking and sporty looking. They can visit all four of our dealerships. We have three dealerships here in Manila, and we have uh, one in Cebu. So they can visit uh, our showroom in Green Hills, in BGC, and in Alabang, and one in Cebu. So they can go anytime. Yeah, can offer test drive. Yeah. Motor Image Pilipinas, the exclusive distributor of Subaru vehicles in the Philippines, launched the all-new Subaru XV in Manila. According to Motor Image Pilipinas, this new crossover will excite drivers in a multitude of settings, from urban driving to the great outdoors. It is also the second model to employ the revolutionary Subaru Global Platform, which will make every drive an experience with heightened levels of confidence, comfort, and control.
Nissan Philippines Incorporated new Nissan X-Trail is the first Nissan vehicle in the country to be integrated with the largest range of available advanced intelligent mobility technologies. The new X-Trail also has a fresh interior and exterior styling which gives it a sleeker yet robust appearance. Nissan Philippines was confident in saying that the new Nissan X-Trail offers something new in the SUV segment. One of the main uh, features you were, you were talking about was this intelligent uh, something. Can yeah. you tell us something about it? Sure. So uh, the new x is going to be the flagship of introducing what we call Nissan Intelligent Mobility. Nissan Intelligent Mobility is classified into three globally. Intelligent driving, intelligent power, and uh, intelligent integration. Here in Philippines, we are starting with intelligent driving. So it has features like around view monitor, blind spot warning, pedestrian forward uh, warning collision. So a lot of safety features that make the day-to-day -day driving convenient, comfortable and safe for all of us. And uh, XTRAIL is going to be the flagship for that. First is the around view monitor with the moving object detection that allows you to monitor and recognize all the moving objects around the vehicle. And, and number two, we have the forward collision warning and forward emergency braking that uses a radar to calculate the distance of the X-Trail and the vehicle in front of the X-Trail. And with that, and if you're about to hit a vehicle in front of you, FCW will give you a warning and then the vehicle will stop if you're about to hit the vehicle in front of you. Now. And also on the rear side, we have the rear cross traffic alert to recognize the objects or crossing vehicles when you are reversing, plus the blind spot warning. For this particular segment, we're uh, actually humbly looking at, uh, right now we're at 1% market share. But hopefully with this one, we can improve that to at least 2% market share for this minor change. Uh, one of the strongest features of the Nissan vehicles, one, you have fantastic comfortable aircon, which is still present in the particular vehicle. But more than that, we have offered bigger space, more comfortable ride, better handling, and, and of course, uh, as you mentioned earlier, we have included here the vision of Nissan, and it is first amplified in the Nissan x which is the intelligent mobility feature. The new Nissan x has got some fantastic uh, class-leading features that's available here in Philippines uh, starting now. So I would encourage all of you to visit the uh, Nissan dealerships and uh, have a test drive and I'm sure you'll absolutely love the product. Thank you. Volvo Philippines gave a sneak preview of the new Volvo XC60 at the Volvo Crayfish Party organized in partnership with Nordic Chamber of Commerce in the Philippines. According to Volvo, the new XC60 is one of the safest cars ever made as it is fully loaded with new technology. A new safety system called Oncoming Lane Mitigation uses tear assist to help mitigate head-on collisions. While Volvo's blind spot indication system now uses steer assist functionality to reduce the risk of lane changing collisions. The XC60 is uh, built upon Volvo's latest SPA or the Scalable Platform Architecture. So it has the proportions of its bigger brother, the XC90. If you notice, the length and the width and the interior room is all very similar to the XC90, except it has uh, one less row. And the XC60 has a very sleek and dynamic design, and it shows you a preview of all of the new Volvos coming, starting with the 90 series with this XC60 and our future cars to come. We'd like to invite all of the viewers to come and visit our Volvo showrooms uh, both in Manila, in Cebu, and in Iloilo. And we'd like to invite you to test drive our vehicles and see for yourself how far Volvo has come and what difference our cars are now. Isuzu Philippines Corporation held the exclusive two-day viewing and test drive for the newly introduced Isuzu Blue Power Truck lineup. Available during the event were the Isuzu N-Series Truck, Cargo Hauling F-Series, and the Isuzu CNE Truck Series. The N and F-Series trucks are now equipped with Euro 4 compliant engine, while the C and E heavy duty trucks come with more advanced Euro 5 engine. The new lineup of trucks also had a major makeover with the new and improved cab design. 
Okay, we are proud to introduce uh, the newest Isuzu truck Blue Power engines here in the Philippines. Actually, Blue Power is an eco-friendly diesel technology developed by Isuzu in its global commitment of a cleaner environment. So it is an engine system enhancement that provides the lowest exhaust emission, more fuel efficient, and making it more powerful and durable. It's now that are meeting the requirements of our government in terms of exhaust emission, and also we have a wide variety of truck models starting from our light duty trucks, which is the N-Series. For the medium duty trucks, we have the F-Series, and for our heavy duty trucks, we have the CNE for the rigid truck and tractor head requirements. To all the trade viewers, especially logistics and trucking companies, we would like to invite you to please come and visit any of our Isuzu dealership nationwide and know more about our new Blue Power truck lineup. We would be very glad to assist you. Thank you very much. Since its launch, more motor enthusiasts are curious to check out the new vehicles of Isuzu equipped with its Blue Power technologies. The final stretch of this week's Autofocus year-end special edition when we come back after we pause for another short break. Like a fool, it's love. Love. it's love, it's love, it's love. Show your love with the new features of the all new Innova. Love the journey. Your weekly window to the world of business and guide to the good life can now be watched online. Just click on businessandleisure.ph and watch this week's show and other past episodes of Business and Leisure at your most convenient time of the day. Business and Leisure is now on the web. Watch it anytime. We continue this week's edition of Autofocus with our year-end special spotlighting car launches of 2017 and welcome to its home stretch. Audi, Suzuki, Piaggio, Peugeot and Honda made a last hurrah before 2017 comes to a close. Let's all find out what are these exciting vehicle models they have lined up. Audi Philippines unveiled the all-new Audi Q5. According to Audi Philippines as proof of the brand's corporate tagline, Advancement Through Technology, the Audi Q5 boasts of great innovations such as the Quattro all-wheel drive system with ultra technology, highly efficient engines, air suspension with damper control, and a comprehensive lineup of infotainment and assistance systems. What we have here on my right is the Q5 S-Line variant. It comes in 2-liter TFSI and 2-liter TDI. 
252 horsepower and 370 newton meters of torque for the gasoline variant. 190 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque for the TDI variant. Both come with 7-speed dual clutch transmission. The S-Line variant features a full S-Line wraparound body kit, 20-inch wheels, adaptive air suspension, full matrix LED lighting system. The all-new Q5 S-Line variant comes standard with sports seats, Bang & Olufsen premium sound system, virtual cockpit, which is Audi's award-winning instrumentation design, MMI navigation, MMI navigation touch, and of course, our three-zone air conditioning system. What gives the Audi Q5 an outstanding edge compared to its competitors would be its technology that Audi has developed with the car. Audi's motto is advancement through technology and of course all the high-tech features of Audi is incorporated in the all-new Audi Q5. I invite everybody to visit uh, Audi in Green Hills, in uh, Bonifacio Global City and in uh, Westgate, uh, Alabang to come and look, have their own personal experience with the all-new Audi Q5. Now is calling. Suzuki Philippines launched the new Vitara GLX. This new generation Vitara is designed to match the growing automotive market in the country. Additionally, the Vitara has upgraded the heritage design of the Suzuki SUV through incorporating modern elements. According to Suzuki, the new GLX allows drivers to express individuality with its various colors and designs. Uh, recently, uh, we announced the uh, first half of the uh, uh, fiscal year financial statement. The result was positive, mainly because of the uh, sales increase in India market and European market and of course uh, Philippine market. So market is showing the uh, good trend. So we will make effort and try to achieve the uh, annual plan. A compact SUV is a fast growing segment. So I'm sure that we have a big potential here. Actually, I had experience to launch this product in South America, New Zealand, Australia, in everywhere. It's like a booming. So I'm sure that uh, we are going to see the same thing in Philippines. Uh, today we are happy to inform. Uh, we are happy to introduce our new model Vitala. We actually are able to start the distribute uh, this vehicle now, and uh, hopefully. Uh, we are able to start selling the Vitara in the Philippines, maybe end of November. So, actually, we Japanese say seeing the believing. Uh, let's come to our authorized dealership in Nationwide and uh, check uh, our new Vitara as well. Thank you so much. Manami, manami, salamat. Auto Italia Philippines Enterprises Incorporated, or APE, unveiled the Piaggio APE, the three-wheel wonder from India. According to APE, the new three-wheeler is not affected by any number coding in the metro and is deemed much safer and more efficient with its advanced and economic features, which is great for logistic businesses. Additionally, all Piaggio APE variants are fully customizable. Piaggio Ape, uh, we have two different types of Piaggio Ape, one the commercial vehicle and the petrol engine. No? The commercial vehicle is basically diesel, so it could be used for several purposes. No? First, for passengers, if you want to load a lot of people, then the passenger can load up to eight people. No? And uh, for deliveries, it can carry up to 700 kilos, so it would be nice. And, and you're right, since it's classified as a non-conventional motorcycle, it doesn't have color coding and it can go through EDSA, so that would be a perfect vehicle, especially for young entrepreneurs who want to start business. You want to start small and you want to minimize the risk, Piaggio Ape would be the best. Why? First, it's not very expensive. It's actually very, very reasonable price. If you do well, you can multiply it quickly. If you don't do well, you can just sell the vehicle and the loss is very minimal. So uh, it would be good uh, opportunity for uh, young people who wants to go into business. No? 
And then for the petrol side naman, ang petrol side is basically just for passengers, no? This is the one that we believe will be re replacing the tricycles in the country. Uh, it's more convenient for the driver, especially during the rainy season, they won't get wet. And uh, for the passengers, more especially because it's a very comfortable ride, unlike in a tricycle where in your cramp, nakayuko, you know, all this stuff, this one you can sit perfectly and no matter how tall you are, it's a very comfortable city. Kujo Philippines launched all three of its new SUVs to be offered in the local market. The new SUV range includes the 2017 European Car of the Year, the all-new 3008 SUV, the new 2008 Compact SUV, and the all-new 5008 seven-seater SUV. According to Peugeot, the new range defies conventional standards with its style, dynamic performance, and revolutionary engine technology. Peugeot adds that it is the brand's first venture into the booming segment. We're very excited that uh, to launch the European Car of the Year for 2017. Last March, we were able to garner uh, the most number of votes from among 200 plus uh, media from Europe, and they voted the 3008 as the European Car of the Year. And this is testament to Peugeot's passion for creating really great products. This is the start of a new breed of SUVs from uh, Peugeot. We've actually, our designers and engineers, have spent the last six years designing and creating, listening to customers of what SUV should be. So what we've done is we've created a new breed of SUVs, starting with the 3008, a very dynamic performing SUV with captivating uh, design. I think as everyone can agree that the moment you take a look at the front face of the car, you fall in love with it, especially as Filipinos. We've actually put in a lot of intuitive technologies, uh, engine technologies that Peugeot has been known for. Uh, our engines have been awarded Engine of the Year for several years now, and our expertise in creating these uh, very fuel efficient but very powerful engines are all in the 3008. So launching here in the Philippines, long time coming, but uh, it's, it's very sweet for us because I think we're coming in at a very sweet time for the automotive industry where everyone's excited to take a look at the, the new cars from Peugeot. And in fact, what we've launched here is a whole slew of SUVs, not just uh, the 3008, but being bannered by the European Car of the Year 2017. It is the European Car of the Year and it is our flagship car at the moment. Once the other cars arrive, um, of course, they will cater to different needs in pretty much the same manner that the 3008 SUV does. At this point, it is the highlight car for Peugeot. It is our, our, our main product. It is what we are pushing because we are very proud of that particular vehicle. I'd like to invite all of the viewers to come visit our showrooms and experience the all-new Peugeot 3008 SUV for yourselves. If you want to schedule an appointment, just email in info at peugeot.ph and we will gladly contact you for an experience with our hero product. Honda Cars Philippines Incorporated introduced the new and refreshed 2018 Honda Odyssey, which is now available in two variants, the EX and EXV Navi. Honda presented the variants with enhanced exterior features and interior comforts. The EXV Navi variant comes with a redesigned exterior, particularly a new front grille design in dark chrome, and sportier front bumper with LED fog lights. The door handles finish in dark chrome and the smoked LED guide type tail lamps complemented the updated styling of the new Odyssey EXV Navi variant. Oh, right behind us is uh, your latest uh, offering uh, to the Philippine market. This is the Odyssey. Exactly. We just recently launched a new Odyssey. This Odyssey has big changes for the exterior design, also the adding of the features. As such, we are very confident this will also serve to our Filipino customers. Thank you very much for your support to the Honda Philippines. Actually, we are, we are very appreciative about your support to Honda in 2017. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Carter. Thank you very much. Just like the previous year, the Philippine automobile industry has remained robust. 
more and more vehicles are coming out for the specific needs of the local market. Though this industry is threatened by the excise tax reform by the present administration, the car industry is optimistic that it will continue to perform well and its growth in sales will increase in 2018. Thank you for watching us and join us again the next time for more significant events that happened in the local automobile industry in the year 2017. For Autofocus, I'm Butch Gambol.